Yo, what up? Hit that like button, man. Subscribe. Welcome back to all my day ones, my return of subscribers. And welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new here. So we're not like these other channels, you know, check this out, check that out. We're going to get right into it. So as you can tell or can uh, hear that uh, today I decided to do an audio. Uh, currently, guys, I've been trying to get some new headphones and I just want to make sure I get the right equipment for you guys and that it sounds good. So, you know, I decided to do audio for now until I picked the new headphones. But I wanted to tell you guys, man, it's literally like four in the morning, five around there and I'm up, man. Yeah, 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 you got to be willing to get up, man. I know I'm talking a little low, but I don't want to be too loud. I got to show respect, even though the neighbors are already loud here and everything else. I just am who I am. Now, I wanted to tell you guys something. You got to be willing to get your ass up, wake up. You know, clean up, make the bed, do the laundry, uh, take care of everything you need to take care of and get ready to fight another day. Get ready to push and grind. And, and, and every day you live, always remember, every day you put in the work, the next day and the next day and the next day, every day you keep putting in that work, guess what? You're planting those seeds. And you know what those seeds are? See, the seeds are putting in the work. And what plant has grown without the seed having to be planted first? Think about that. See, you got to be the early. See, they, back then they used to tell us, you know, the early bird catches the worm. Well, it's true. The early bird catches the worm. You got to be willing to be that guy. Yeah, the appointment's at 3.30, but I'm going to be there at 3.15, 15 minutes prior, man. In the military, you come early and you do what you got to do. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm going a little crazy, a little manic up in here. But see, I'm willing to, you know, push as early as possible because I believe there's somebody out there listening that needs this today, that needs this right now. Well, guess what? I believe in you. I know you can make it. I I feel this energy, whoever I'm talking to. Yo, you got this. You're almost there. You're so close. But guess what? You got to push a little bit harder. Maybe it's turn off the TV for a while. Maybe it's get off the video game. Maybe it's say, you know what? I'm not going to the bar tonight. I'm going to put in that work. Maybe it's going to school. Maybe it's being a nurse. Maybe it's you're a truck driver, man. Yeah, man. Maybe you're the farmer, man. Or maybe, you know, you want to be this professional surfboard, you know, pro. Or maybe a fisherman with the boat and you catch the crabs. Or maybe whatever you want to do. See, you know, I found out what I wanted to do. I love art, man. But you know how I had to find how I love art? I had to go within myself. And see, every day I'm trying to find this self-love and work on healing myself and things as such. This is what you got to do. You got to find it in yourself. You're not going to find it by just looking for it. Live your life. Try new things. Experience new things. Get out there and eventually something will click. You might be sitting next to somebody or it might happen at the gas station. You never know. It could be anywhere. See, people out there don't understand. You usually find your purpose like randomly. That's how it happens. I was talking to an individual and they told me, hey, you know, you're, you're really good at art. You should keep doing that. And I was like, eh, I don't know. I was like, you know what? Let me try it. I thought about it for a while. I kept going, kept going. I was like, wow. It started to bring back memories as a child for me when I used to love doing art and drawing all the time and stuff. And I just kind of let it go. I knew I could do it, but I was like, eh. You know, and then I kept going. I was like, wow, I fell in love with my passion and my purpose again. That's how I found my stuff. That's how I found my purpose. But see, you got to find your purpose. You got to dig inside and go back to wherever that point is in your life where you just said, you know what? I don't want to achieve no more. 
See, I didn't hit that point. I want I want to keep going, man. I'm trying to make it to the You hear that rocket ship? You hear that rocket ship? Let me let me hold on. Top, man. That's where I'm going to the top. And if you want to make it to the top, you got to be different from the rest. You got to push. You got to say to yourself, you know what? I'm not going to let nothing else distract me. A lot of people always question me and ask me a bunch of stuff. How did I make it here? How do I do this, that? This is how I make it, man. Every day I know that if I didn't put in the work, years later I'll regret that I didn't. I don't want to be like these people that I hear in my life. Oh, I regret you know, this, I wish I would have done this in my 20s. I wish I would have done that. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm a 27 year old man and I'm pushing to the max and I'm going to utilize my 20s and 30s and bust my ass. That way, one day I'm going to look back and be like, I'm glad I put in that work. I'm glad I put in those hours. I'm glad I put in those long days and those long nights and those, you know, being tired, but knowing I got to push because somebody out there listening, they need this. You might be not having no parents out there. I feel you. Well, guess what? You don't need them. They created you. Yeah, but guess what? You got to live this life. So pick your head up. Don't be like people I've met who just Oh, because my parents aren't there, I'm not going to achieve nothing. It's not fair. It's not fair. Well, you know what? I learned one thing about life. Life ain't fair. But I learned something else as well. How to receive positive energy from the universe. You got to put the work in. You got to be helpful to people. Be giving to people. I've met people out there. They don't want to give to charity. You know, oh, I'm not giving them my five dollars. Well, don't complain when you don't get any good energy coming back to you because you don't want to give freely. Don't go to people. I've met people who have intentions of wanting to get money out of me and things of such. Don't go with that intention. And if you do have that intention, at least be honest with the person and don't try to play manipulative games. You know what I mean? And if you don't know what I mean, well, now you know. (laughs) I wanted to say another part. But, uh, yeah, anyway, you know, I hope you guys, man, are enjoying this audio because I just wanted to give you something different and let you know this is, you know, this is, uh, the behind the scenes of advice from Jay because it's really early, man, and I should be asleep, but I'm just grinding, you know, trying to give you guys that high quality that you subscribe to that you expect from me you know, and I just want you guys to keep your head up, man. You already know, man, man, stay motivated to do the things that you said you were going to do. So what that means is, see, when I was in the military, you know, when they tell you to do something, an order, you get it done. There is no hold on, wait a minute, this, that. So give yourself the order that I'm going to put in the work and, you know, uh, Stop seeking praise and approval from people. I met a lot of people out there. What do you think about this? And they'll post it on Facebook, ask all their friends and this and that. Well, you know, what does it matter what these people think or any of their opinions? If it's what you want to do and something you like, try it out. You don't want somebody's opinion to deter you maybe from a great thing that you could have started or got into. You never know. So don't worry about other people's opinions if it's what you want to do, because it's what you want to do. Right. So why does it matter? Man, stay determined, man. I'm determined to get 2000 subscribers. So hit that like and subscribe, man. Thank you. And, uh, you know, stay out those jail cells because the same things that you would do illegally, you can do legally. So don't commit no crime. And what that means is there's an alternative to your crime. You know, instead of selling drugs, how about you be that person to go to school, get an education in medicine and find a cure for cancer? Permanent cure. Let's see. You know, but what do I know? Right. And uh, lastly, if you're new here, man, 
I always yell knowledge to the top of my lungs because I truly believe that knowledge is power and it could save your life one day. So be a sponge and soak up all the knowledge you can, man. Yeah, man. And I always say that sponge part because I remember in the military, a sergeant one day said the weirdest thing to me. He was like, be a sponge. And I was like, what? He's like, soak up all the knowledge you can. And I was like, wow, I'm keeping that. <laughs> that's a good quote. And that's where that came from. And uh, y'all hear that, man? Y'all hear that, man? Man, I think somebody said you got to be different from the rest, man. You got to wake up early. You got to bust your ass. And you can't let nobody distract you. None of the, oh, let's go out here. Let's go do it. Now I'm cool. I'm cool. I got to study. I got to do what I got to do. Because my future is more important than today. Man, fuck. Damn. I'm out, man. Stay motivated. And uh, enjoy your holidays.